I'm still waiting for Red Bull's offer to sponsor this channel. So as many of us know, we are in the year 2017. In the most recent events of human civilization, innovations appear. So one of those innovations is something called virtual reality. Today, I'm ready to explore that in the cheapest way possible, ish. A lot of us have had the opportunity to try out VR in a nice fancy way like the PS VR or the Samsung VR or any of the bigger stuff, but for me, as someone who isn't that interested in switching over to any sort of VR stuff just yet, I wanted to take a chance and try out something a little bit less pricey, a little bit less consuming, and I thought there is no better way of doing that than with some cardboard. So in front of me today, I have the Virtual Reality Viewer by Insignia. So this is very budget friendly. I think this thing cost me $20. It's not gonna be as comfortable or as handy or as immersive as let's say the things ranging close to $1,000 or more, obviously. But this gives someone a good idea of what VR has to offer. And being someone who hasn't really experienced the VR more than just a YouTube video on my phone that you can move, I'm excited. I've downloaded a few apps to try out, so let's jump right into it. So taking a look at the box, Insignia, obviously that's the company who made it. This works with Google Cardboard, so it's kind of the same idea as Google Cardboard. Uh, virtual Reality Viewer, so there's a picture of the thing, very basic as you can tell, some cardboard, your phone slips in there, and of course the phone is not included. And on the back it has some features pre-assembled and ready to use right out of the box. Okay, so that takes out any human error possible. Insert a 4.7 to 6 inch touchscreen smartphone. So there is a range, it's not specific for one size. You can get a large variety of phones actually in there. But other than that, it's a pretty basic box. We all know how Insignia does their things. Okay, tape. Oh wow, it literally is pre-assembled. Wow, that's like, that's it. There it is, done, awesome. To get it kind of flipped into position, Velcro up like this, like this, like this. And this kind of just folds into place, Velcro down. Wow, I'm excited. It's just a piece of cardboard, yes, I know. This is gonna be neat as hell. So let's put that off to the side for a quick second. Let's take the phone case off just in case it makes it a little bit less fitting. So I downloaded two apps so far just to kind of give this thing a shot. One of them being is the roller coaster because everyone says, holy cow, you have to watch the roller coaster one because it's crazy. Um, and the second one is kind of like a flight simulator. It's by the same designer. I believe it's like Andrew something. I'm gonna try the roller coaster one first. Everyone says that one's extremely entertaining. Okay, so we got some noise. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> you can feel it. Oh my goodness, that was a huge loop. Oh, there's another one. Guys, that's crazy. So how I actually got the phone into the device, the case comes with elastic that kind of serves as your phone holder. And you slide your phone in, something along this, these lines, slap a Velcro shut, and um, yeah, you're watching. Oh! No way! Guys, don't get too excited because you usually miss steps. So I was kind of questioning why everything was a little bit blurry. I just thought the phone was too close or something. But um, please remove before using. It comes with these lens caps so you don't scratch the glass. Oh my goodness. But what I just noticed is that on the cutout of the actual cardboard, Piece, there's actually like a little trigger and what that relates to is a lot of games have action like shoot 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 So what this button does is you push this button and this little trigger pops out and touches the screen What that allows you to do is make contact with the screen and say for a shoot command You you have something there shooting. So let's go into the flight simulator. This one is going to be significantly because you get this shoot stuff Oh goodness That's right, buddy Feel it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Eat my dust. Eat my dust. I didn't think the Air Force is something I'd be into. But after playing this game, I'm still not considering it. I like, uh, I like what I do. So you probably are asking yourself, what does the actual game look like outside of the VR experience? What, what, what is it? What's going on? So what, it, what it does, basically is there's two screens 
And with the lenses, it kind of zooms you in and kind of immerses you in the entire um, environment. So it's really cool technology. And I think it's evolving slowly but surely. For me right now, investing in something a little bit more than this $20 insignia deal is a little bit excessive. Whoa, are those real? I feel like less of a man. So moral of the story is if you are someone who wants to explore VR, doesn't have the budget, doesn't really feel like spending five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand dollars. This is something that, that is extremely entertaining. I had fun for that. Like I'm shooting this video, I don't know, it says right there, 27 minutes. 99% of that was me playing on the roll. All right guys, so that was the Insignia VR viewer Google Cardboard kind of deal. If you guys like that, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. And as always, for additional brownie points, please follow me on all of my social media, links again in the description. And for now, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's, let's take it out. Holy, those are some vivid colors. I chose to get a hard case, they have a big variety of cases over there. But the reason I chose a hard case, because I like how the hard cases fit on my phone, I find it very secure, gives me a sense of protecting my phone a little bit. Okay, so let's take